Zach gets on the piano, old song that I thought about while Andy was teaching. Andy, I enjoyed that. Old songwriter wrote a song that said, Jesus signed my pardon. This I truly know. Give me about it. Chief. Jesus signed my pardon. This I surely know. Took my place at Calvary. Now I don't have to go. All my life I give him. He gave his for me. When he signed my pardon, there at Calvary. I do some more out of singing. Andy, I know folks, the Bible said godly sorrow working through him. And as Andy was teaching there, how heartbreaking that could have been or was. And the very man that was helping Andy do his job was killed. And I know, Andy, that you probably carried some sort of guilt. And had that individual, had that informant not been in that situation that I put him in, he wouldn't have lost his life. But it happens. But Andy, aren't you glad had it been your fault that that man lost his life? Aren't you glad? That the Word of God teaches us in the New Testament where sin abound grace did much more about And while that person was losing their life, it came out in testimony that person asked God to forgive them prior to taking their last breath. But God was there. And Andy, had you been had you been guilty, had it been your fault yeah. under the law, the law says, Andy, you've got to die too. But under grace, Amen. Jesus steps forward with armor, said, Not him, me. Me. Brother Tony, when you carried that load of sin, that load of guilt under the law, there was no other choice but for you to die. But that night when you left that seat, and I believe it with all of my heart, we, we've taught, we've preached, and we're led to believe. Brother Andy, when we get to the altar, there's where the magic happens. But you know where I think the magic happens? I think the magic, and it ain't magic, it's grace and mercy. But the way I understand the Bible, Brother Tony, I know you enjoyed your trip to the altar. But you know when that sentence was tore up? When you raised, you know, Tony, I don't believe that you raised up off of that seat up there in the balcony a half an inch. When Jesus took that sentence, that death sentence. Blotting out the handwriting of the ordinance. Yeah. What, Andy? Blotting out the handwriting of the ordinances was against us. That's contrary. Read it, brother. You ain't done. several times in my ministry over the years back in the older days when a, a, when a criminal was put into a cell 
His, his, his crown was put on the paper there outside the sail door. And after the time, each year, a man would go by and he'd, he'd put the amount of the sins left. But when that man went to birth, Brother Andy would come through. He'd walk up to a cell and he'd get that name he'd read the sentence. And if the price, if the debt had been paid, if the time had been spent, he'd pull that down. And behind this man was men that had the keys to the, door, to the doors. And when they would walk by and see that hand like blotted out, then take the keys and unlock the door and release the prison. So many people, guilty of it myself. Young as Christian, we got in the house, I guess be Brother Dustin. And if I'd ask Dustin, I'd say, Dustin, did you try to get yourself ready? Did you try to quit this? Did you try to quit that? Guarantee he'd say yes. Yeah. But Tony, the more we try to quit or stop something to get ourselves presentable to Jesus Christ, the bigger the load gets. Tony nailed it this morning. We're getting ready to close with this invitation. Tony said, Here I am, Lord. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I don't know why in the world you call this mess and why you want this mess, but here it is. That's all he wants, Tony. That's, all, that's how you got the victory, son. When you offered your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is what your reasonable service. Are you ready this morning? Are you ready to say, okay, Lord? Do you ever spill paint and try to wipe it up with a paper towel? The more you wipe, the bigger it gets, Marty. That's what you're doing with your life this morning. You're making a bigger mess. Why don't you bring it to Jesus? <laughs> Heavenly Father, right now, I pray that you would give folks courage to slip out of the seat, make their way to an altar of prayer. Folks, view them by live stream. Give them courage this morning. Give them courage, Lord. To say, Lord, I've sinned. Come on, send a prayer. Lord, I've sinned. I've made a mess. I've tried to clean up the mess, but it only got bigger. Lord, I need a Savior. I'm like Tony Baldwin. I, 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 don't, I know you called me, and I don't know why. Because I have nothing to offer you. So, Lord, save me, forgive me. Blot out my transgression. Blot out the writing on the wall that was against me. Save me, Lord. Forgive me my sins. Once me your blood. claim your Lord as my Lord and Savior. I repent of my sin. I'm so sorry, but this is all I got to offer you. I accept you as Lord and Savior of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Every head still bowed and every eyes closed. You that's viewing the live stream, get on that keypad and said, I just accepted the Lord as my Savior. Anybody in the building want to raise their hand this morning and say, Preacher, I just surrendered all to Jesus. Could you do that? I just surrendered all to Jesus. We're going to keep praying for you. Sing that time. I hear the Savior say, Thy strength in me is small. Child of weakness, why? 